Hello everybody, it's Liquid Giraffe here with Pars Ace, I think, Part Ace, uh, of my Dark Souls playthrough. It's uh, It's been quite a while since I've done one, apologies for the long delay. Uh, where last we finished, I was, and still am in, the depths. And I think I just unlocked the way to the next boss, so let's carry on. Let's carry on and uh, let's see where we get to. I wonder if that guy's gonna come follow me for a while. I don't know. Probably not. Down the stairs here. Run in, run in, run in. Okay. Uh, let me try to remember. I'm pretty sure. It's this way. Boom. So, right, okay. I don't remember if I explored this bit near the last video. A little bit of a quick check anyway. Yeah, it's not like there's anything interesting. Do 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 do. Ooh, it's very nice architecture here. Very nice. Uh oh. If I can remember the way down, and there's a summon sign. I need it. Aha! Look at this guy. A heavy crossbow. Don't need no summon sign. Okay, we're ready. Shield, sword. Let's do it. Just lovely. Okay, let's get to it. Oh. Trying to remember what this guy can do. Uh, could take a while too. My sword is. Oh. Aha! Take that! I avoided you. One thing I really enjoy about some of the boss fights is the destructible terrain. I think it's uh, it's a really cool way for um for kind of the player, I guess, to get a sense of like say how large or powerful a creature is. You know, like, you kind of see there like the little, little, the Price of the, the rocks coming out of the ground. I think it's very cool. I think it helps helps add a lot of weight to the uh, the monsters attacks. Ow. Ah, uh, jeez. Oh, I need to play careful here. Whoops. 
So we're okay, we're about, found about a third health, that's pretty good. Just gonna jump up, just gonna land. Wow. Something I didn't realize actually is that like previously there's like this channeler guy. Um, if you don't kill, it's actually up like in an area above you during this boss fight and he like attacks you with spells and stuff and ah uh, I just think that's so very mean <laughs> oh man this guy just could not get away from him there oh hey Sean no swiped me good I got him down to what half health there Darn. That's unfortunate. Oh. Excuse me. Ah. Alright, what did I die there? I guess, yeah, I got too close to that big gaping attack at the front. Blows through my shields real quick. But, no matter. We will simply try again. Yeah, I guess just try try and stay a little bit further away from him. So I make force him to do that running up to me move, because that's mega easy to avoid. Do do do, alright. Let's try that again. I need to watch this a second time. Chop, chop, chop. Okay. I've got lots of room over here to the right. Shit, maybe not that much fucking room. Apologies for my language. Ho ho. A little bit too close for comfort there. Huh. Oh, now we're really buggered. Alright, I want to get him out of that corner because that is not good for me. Let's 
check and I don't fall off the edge. Now this guy is just not being easy for me. She seems to want to follow me around the whole damn place. Okay, here we go, here we go. Okay, great. Roll away, get on the run forward. Okay, we're about to where we were last time when I died. I feel like I'm doing better. Okay, we've got a bit of room over here. Sometimes he can fly surprisingly far with that damn flying attack. Surprisingly far. Lock there. Pull away. So you're going to do. <laughs> I had actually totally forgotten about that move. Yeah, bomb on the floor. <laughs> uh, chop, chop, chop. Let's run away. So that's where I'd say about. 60-70% of my deaths in like boss fights against Dark Souls is like sometimes you know he's getting a little low, you get that little bit too cocky, and you know you break up your your rhythm, and the boss does something maybe a little bit unexpected, and then boom, you know that's it, you're dead, and it's after the most frustrating. that, you know, kind of like you lose your rhythm a little bit, and then suddenly you can go, it get pretty dangerous, because this boss, you now he, he hits hard, he hits, he hits pretty hard. Oh man. You see what I mean? This guy, oh, are you serious? Are you serious? Oh, okay, no, we're good, we're good. Dang, no, this is, this is not, this is, that was not a controlled, controlled boss fight. This guy is up in my grill. I don't like it. Oh, she's gonna do this bomb attack. Blah. I'll be super annoyed if I have to like do this boss fight again. If I unexpectedly die. Okay, here we go. I, I feel like I feel like this might be it. This might be it. Whack, whack. Yeah, here, here we go. Boom. Oof. Ah. Key to Blight Town. Two humanity, some more bone. Sweet. Oh man. So, 25,000 souls. Tasty, tasty. So, yeah, that boss. Uh, he's like, I don't know. I feel like mechanically he's pretty easy. You know, he doesn't have that many moves. He's slow moving. But he's just so damn big. And. You know, you think, you think, or at least I thought I had him pinned down there. I thought I had had a good controlled, controlled boss fight. And then he just changed up those moves a little bit there in the middle. Da damn if I didn't almost lose the whole thing. And I'll tell you what, that would have been pretty darn annoying. Whew, okay. Still, we got the key to Blight Town. Gaping Dragon is. 
dead. Uh, I'm just trying to remember how to get out of here. I think I'll just go back the way I came. Excuse me, I think I'll just go back the way I came. Oh, I think I do. Okay. Ooh. Oh, uh, I was going to tell you, so I've, I've started playing Dark Souls 2 again, actually. Uh, picked up Scholars of the First Sin. And it's on sale on Steam, and that's the... Uh, I think that's the Prepare to Die version of Dark Souls 2, so it has all the DLCs in it. And it's changed up some of that. I think it's got better graphical options. It's changed up some of the enemy placements. And I remember when I first played it, I didn't like it too much. I... I didn't really like the whole kind of teleporting between bonfires bit. Uh, I just like some of the enemy. I don't know. I just I just didn't love it. Not not like I love Dark Souls 2 or Dark Souls 1, should I say? But uh, I think after playing it again, well, these two the scholars of the first sin. I think I must say I'm actually quite enjoying it. I'm actually I'm actually quite enjoying it. It's it's it is good fun. Uh, just trying to get out of here. <laughs> Uh, oh, there's a dead guy. Uh, now nah, it's uh, actually I might as well keep running to be honest. Uh, it's like, yeah, it's I don't know why it's I'm having more fun with it now. Uh, it could just be like the changes they made have made it a more fun game, um, or it could just be uh, kind of second playthrough. I'm a little, little bit more familiar. Maybe I'm just done a little bit less. Uh, though I can still. I can barely remember any of the levels. Yeah, like maybe like the name of oh, like the Lost Bastille. I'm like, oh, I remember the name of that. Uh, too bad I can't remember anything else about it. But uh, so yeah. So if, if any of you did play Dark Souls 2 and weren't uh, mad on it, I would I would recommend picking up Scholars of the First Sin if you can while it's um. Well, it's cheap. Ah, oh, jeez. While it's cheap, and uh, give it another go, because I am thoroughly enjoying what they do. Uh, I did, <laughs> I did consider uh, recording my playthrough of it, but I, uh, ooh, I don't know. I, I, I have an awful habit of kind of half finishing things. Uh, and then jumping onto something new, so I want to be like extra doubly sure that I just stick with this. I stick with this this uh, this run through. I finish it to completion uh, before I start anything else. Oh man, I'm getting a little bit confident here. It's another great thing, Dark Souls. You know, I've probably mentioned before. It's so humbling. You know, I've just killed the uh, gaping demon or whatever the hell his name is, gaping dragon. And yet here I am. I got, got taken a little bit too low for comfort by 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 one of these 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 punk ass punk ass torch wielding torch wielding guys here. You know, you just always always need to be careful. Like individually, sure these guys piece of cake, but group them up. You know, you're you're trying to hold up your shield again, five or five or six of them get dangerous. Now it's dangerous. I really, I do think there's a better way out of here. I really feel like there was, but I can't remember what it, where or what it was. But this will work anyway. Back to good old end end. I wonder whenever even here on Deadberg, you know, it's 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 comforting. It's a comforting place to me. I know it. I know so well, and I feel like I feel like that's the, it's the kind of feeling that uh, I've only really gotten with with Dark Souls. You know, what you, you do an area, or you go through an area so many times, but it's not tedious. Uh, you know, it's it isn't tedious. It's 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 almost enjoyable because. You know, you look back when you first started, and you know, as you're kind of just going through these guys, like an, it almost almost mechanically, you know, kind of really hammers home, like how good you've gotten, say, at the game, or how good you've become mechanically. Um, and 
the game is really rewarding you for it. So these guys, even even like these little soldier guys, like I've I've died once for here, but here before, where I just I fell off the ledge by accident, you know. And these things these things can happen, and especially with what well, near twenty seven thousand souls in the bag. Nothing like like having a good high soul counter to uh, keep the heart racing. So you slowly make your way back to uh, back to the bonfire. Uh, okay, so that that didn't take too long at all. I counted about what, twenty minutes. So let's rest up on here. Beautiful. And then what I'm going to do is, I believe, my next. Plan of action is to head to Darkwood Basin. So I don't think I've been there yet, and I feel actually like even at this stage it might even be a little bit over leveled for it. So uh, I don't remember if these guys were here before. Let's, let's see. Let's see. You need no time to fraternize. I have my mission, and you no doubt have yours. We must not let this curse overcome us. Did I not explain the urgency of our tasks? Who are you so by the looks? Did I not Okay. These guys sound interesting. You look times are grim, don't you? You might scare <laughs> I love like the body shape on these guys. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna make my way over Darkroot Basin, and, and to get there, I'm gonna have to pass by Andre because I want to make sure my Claymore is upgraded as much as it's gonna be. Because uh, I was, I think I was watching something recently, and uh, like the, the gargoyle fight popped into my head, the the bell tower. And if you've been watching my videos, you see that was an awfully, awfully close fight <laughs> for me. You know, I think I think it was like no ice is fast, one hit, one hit left to go, sort of, sort of business. And if I can remember correctly, I don't think my weapon was that upgraded when I did it. And I was just thinking, if I, yeah, if I just upgraded my weapon a little bit more, it would probably have made you know killing the first gargoyle. Before his friend shows up a lot quicker, or at least being able to get him a lot lower. Because uh, like those gargoyles on their own, pretty easy, but it's just when they're like I think like I, they're they're deliberately really hard to attack with like a duo, you know, because like you've got like one guy with like this long reaching attack, another guy with the flame. Let's rest here. The flame, and it's just it's really really difficult. Whereas if you had an upgraded weapon, you can kill the first gargoyle pretty quickly and before his friend gets there. That fight is a lot easier. Uh, I got the large amber. Super. Force weapon. I cannot do it. Uh, two titanite shards. Nuts. I think I can buy. Th oh, I can buy those. How much are those? Eight hundred souls each. How many do I need? I need... I need two. So that's 800, 1600, so that's 2000 souls to upgrade my, my Claymore. Um, oof. Mm. I get, what, 10 more? No, 11 more damage out of it. Mm. I think it's worth it. 2000 souls isn't an awful lot. Especially all the souls I have at the moment. Purchase those. Does this guy have anything else interesting? Oh, Crest of Autorius, I forgot. Yeah, that opens up Dark Root and the other part of Dark Root Basin. I oh, I might buy that now as well, actually. Because I feel like I'm going I'm a little bit over leveled anyway for Dark Root Basin itself, so I'm gonna have to go there eventually. Uh this is a tough one. No, no. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. Uh, I'm gonna leave it for now. I'm just gonna reinforce that weapon. Claymore plus four. Sweet. Don't get yourself killed. 
And I'm gonna go up, level myself, and then onwards to Dark Blue Basin. Yeah. See through there, Sen's Fortress. Can't access that quite yet, but soon. Alright, what are my stats like? Strength, endurance, vitality, and, uh, I'm gonna go be a little bit more careful about this, so yeah, get more damage on that. Get some more equipment load and stamina is always good, and a little more vitality, so next thing is 7407. Use up some more souls to push me over the limit there. Do 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 do. Shame that they make using these. It's a bit, bit, it is a bit of a pain in the ass. Oh, jeez, I won't lie. Um, I don't know if it's a large sort of lost undead. Give me 400 souls. Brilliant. Haha, -ha, okay. Ah, no. Ah. I am too quick. Uh, well, yeah, we'll push up a tile a little bit more. Always good to have more health. Okay, cool. There we are. Get our nice power boost from attack from slaying the demon, and let's mark our way down. See if I can uh, kill this guy. Closer than that. I want to try to get him on the stairs because he's a lot easier. Now come to me. It's a lot easier to attack on the stairs. Ah. Come closer. So, you know, kind of take the time, have a look at this move set. Figure out when's safe to attack, all that good stuff. Okay, almost there. You can see what I mean? See how that slope's like really high up in my head? Makes it a little bit easier. Trying to figure out what my, what, what my, what's my damage looking like there. <laughs> oh, nuts. That was going to hit. Start electric stuff again. This just right over my head. Okay, it's about halfway now. Okay, cool. Yeah, so my damage isn't quite as bad as I thought it was. Glad I got that. Change that plus three to a plus four claymore. Definitely helps some.
Whoosh. And where's the third one? Ah, oh, no third one. Ugh. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh, I would have been extremely sour about time there. <laughs> uh, close one. But again, see, I got, ah, oh, I got a little bit, I got a little bit hasty there. I got a little bit hasty. There he's downed anyway. Remember the very first time I went up against him, my first walkthrough, I got absolutely beat down. Couldn't, couldn't make a dent on him. He just destroyed me. Those clumps. Here in Darkwood Basin again. Lovely change of scenery. Kind of away from the castles. Uh, that's where we will be heading, but for now let's carry on. I st I'm still alive. Uh, yeah, you know, very, qu very quiet, very tranquil. Ambiance has changed. It's nice. It's a nice change of scene. Tree men. I think that's all of them for now. Anyway. Here we are. So that's where I would put in the crest of Artorius if I had, well, if, I, if I had it. For now, uh, light this bonfire. And carry on. Just take a right past that big door and then. Right down here. <laughs> See again, like right in the middle there, white glowing thing, you're like, ooh, cool, look at that, I'm gonna go and I get this, but if you did, I'd be Dark Souls reminding you keep where you can see one there one there these little tree guys you know once you rush in there and pick that up you're surrounded all three sides you are not going to survive very long I had a little bit of invulnerability there I wasn't able to finish them off as quickly as I'd have liked Still though, can't quite get them clumps. Get that soul. And then I the the fog doors as well. Absolutely love the idea because you've no idea, like on your first go through, like is this a boss? Is this just another area? Like what's what is the story? It just it's great. Okay, looking around. Whew, whew. Okay, now now we're good. We're good. Okay, now if I can remember correctly, yeah. If you look really carefully, you can see the tree roots moving. <laughs> I feel like even this is a, a, like you really have to. <laughs> you really have to like, spend a lot of time wandering around the place to be able to. I, I feel like find this area, but we'll we'll pop in there a little bit. I just didn't want to forget about it. Now these guys, I love these guys. They're so cool. Stomp, 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 stomp. Again, big, slow guys, but damn if they don't hit hard. And I really like their armor as well. Very cool looking. Oh, this thing. Swing.
those of you who didn't know what that did, that would have slowed me down. Which is exactly what a big, lumbering, hard-hitting guy wants to happen. So that move is really, really conducive to, um... We can use it to what he wants. Ah, uh, nuts. <laughs> Let's get out of here. That took a little bit of damage there, but that's okay, that's okay. Nothing nothing I can't handle. And we only procced one of the big stone guys. Okay, this is good, this is good. Because if you didn't notice, there was two of them there. That would have been bad. I just need to try to separate the two so I can kill that damn blight dude. And also wait for that guy to attack. Uh. Oh no. Oh, I dodged. Well, I dodged inadvertently. Thank god I was lucky. What the hell is that? This isn't quite going how I imagined it. Let's see. Quick take an S this fast. Oh, that guy doing the work, blocking him. Wonderful. I don't even know how that guy. No, oh, he's not dead yet. I don't even know how that guy got aggroed. Like, miles away. He's really slow. I want to bring him out of this enclosed area. Because it doesn't really suit me. Kind of takes away the the room I have to maneuver around him. Ow! That's worse, that's fine. Pretty sure I can do better though for hard leather armor. Yeah, elite knight armor. Elite knight gauntlets. Elite light leggings, woo. And one more and how oh okay, we'll drink, yeah, grand, because I was gonna say I'm probably a good bit heavier now. Ah oh, jeez. See, like, even even getting this, like, elite no, armor stuff, surrounded by enemies. Absolutely surrounded. Okay, they're currently trapped by that big guy, which is a bit of a pain. I need them to go free. Okay, here we go, here we go. That slowing down mechanism is absolutely... What the hell? Oh, right. I tried to dodge back and I couldn't. Very interesting. This from just sticks you in place. So dangerous. Ah, oh, now I have them both down to low. Haha, <sighs> <sighs> too quick for you, stone man. Flask. Oh, actually, uh, I'm just thinking now. 
This is the Moonlight Butterfly fight, and I'm a melee character, so I should have done actually some of the rest of that bonfire last. I should have made myself human because then I can um, I can summon the witch one to help me, and her ranged attacks make that fight very easy. So slow. You see, like I can't even move around him anymore. It's like dodging attacks. I kind of sit there and take them. I feel like if I was a ranged character and if I got stuck by one of those, I'd be really sunk because I wouldn't have like big shield or lots of stamina to kind of tank the hits. There he goes. So yeah, what I might do is I might um, I might quickly explore this area, then run back. Uh, ooh. Oh, a snake guy. I just forgot about these. <laughs> like, what even are those? I might quickly yeah, explore the rest of the area, go back, uh, burn some humanity to turn, like, not hollow, and then summon your one and kill the butterfly. Because I'm not, like, going through and killing all these guys again. And then there's this little bit here as well. Again, it's Oh, doesn't sound good. See, because if you didn't hear that, which you really should have, <laughs> would have been trapped down that little steep thing between that snake dude and this plant guy. Partisan. Egg vermifuge. I totally forgot what that even does. Most parasitic egg from body. Ooh. Ah, take some water there. Uh, okay. That actually what I might do. That might be a good place to end the video. I might just explore the rest of this area, then call it, and then in the next video, defeat the Moonlight Butterfly, and then kind of carry on. Because it won't take me that long. I'd be surprised if it took me more than one go. To kill the Moonlight Butterfly with that, like, witch summon. That tree thing. Stamina. <laughs> killing trees is so exhausting. Okay, okay. What do we have in here? Well, it's kind of dark, you know, you can't really, you can't see as easily, you need to keep an eye out. See, you have these stone golems, oh, it's these stone golems like lying around, waiting to get up. You have the, the tree guys bursting out of the way, like out of the ground. You know, it isn't, it isn't, it isn't, it isn't, it isn't undead berg, you know, you need a, not that you don't need to kind of keep an eye out on undead berg, but it's, it's a different style, you know. Can't attack him, can we? Rubbish. Absolute rubbish. Can't attack him. Oh, no. Yeah, then it's... Yeah, it's... Uh, ow. <laughs> ow. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention. Was too busy. Faffing around. He goes. Ah, oh, stone grid sword. Cool. Gotta try that out. Ooh. What? Unable to wield. What kind of stats do I need? Oh, 40 strength. <laughs> oh, wow. That is. 
Amazing. Ah oh, man, I'm definitely gonna keep that anyway. <laughs> that would be awesome. Alright, let's explore the rest of this area. Actually, I, think I missed a bit over here. Do, 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 do. No, I didn't. Cool, nothing here. So there's the steps up there, and then I think that's it for this little area here. Yep. <clears throat> that it is. Okay, let's head up. Giant dude. Again, it's a very enclosed space. I need to get my stamina back real quick. <laughs> yeah, there we go. And here we are. And oh, I'd actually forgotten about that little guy over there. I need to get him. But this picks up the wolf ring, which I forget what it does. Boosts poise. Nothing wrong with a bit of poise. Okay, let's head back. We'll grab that uh, loot that corpse thing. Actually, I guess then rest of the bonfire, and we'll call it there. So I should have killed everything. So you can probably. Stop watching the video now. I can't imagine anything interesting is going to happen between me finishing the video and me getting back to the bonfire. But uh, if you want to stick around, you know, I can't stop you. I think Dark Souls 2 does actually is it does a lot of things with light, so like it introduces like a torch mechanic. Uh, that you can light the bonfire and you can like light little braziers along the way. It's a good idea actually because they, they really do uh, they do, do a good bit of work with, with darkness where like it isn't impossible to see, like you can do the whole thing I'm pretty sure without a torch. But it just makes it a lot easier because it does get very dark. And I just think it's it's an interesting mechanic to have. I'm still not 100% sure if I like it or not, but uh, it is interesting. And there we go. And in fact, I'm going to. I think I'm going to just make myself human right now, because I feel like I'm going to forget if I don't. Humanity, reverse hollowing, you betcha. And I'm trying to think. Uh, and this bonfire. Ah, I'm trying to think about I'll kindle it or not. Um, I'll leave it for now. Leave it for now. But uh, cool. I right, guess that's it. Thanks very much for uh, for watching me. It's always appreciated. And hopefully, I'll get the next video to you <laughs> sooner than uh, sooner than this one came along. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys.